Here we're just going to show you how we use our VFT Veriflex taper files. We're going to use these 3D printed teeth, uh, exact replicas of CT scans. This is a really nice upper six. Uh, Media buckle root we're going to look at today. Um, there's an MB2 in there as well. Just going to stick to the MB1. Um, as we would in a patient, just going to initially negotiate it with a size 10 hand file. Just going to cheat a bit here. So rather than using x-rays and apex locators, we get our working length by putting the file right to the very end and seeing when it pokes out the end. Um, reference points, you're going to use the palatal cusp here because the, the coronal curve skews it over towards the palatal, or you can use the media buckle cusp in time, personal preference. But well, they're going to use a, a guide path, a VFG guide path file. That gives us a really nice predictable file uh, and a really nice predictable path to follow. Um, and as with all rotary files, we just gradually introduce it. Uh, we've got our working length measured at the stopper, the reference point there. Uh, and the nice thing about this is it'll give us a very reproducible glide path for our next set of rotaries to follow. And we just gradually um, keep progressing it until it gets to the working length. In most cases, it'll get there pretty quickly, just sort of three or four pecs, and that's there. Really important in between each of these files that we irrigate, we patency file, we make sure there's no blockages right at the very end of the canal. Really, really important. Uh, that's nice and patent still. We'll irrigate with some sodium hypochlorite, just make sure there's no debris accumulating. Now we're going to use the, the VFT range. There's the SX right at the very end, we won't use that here. And then we've got the purple, white, yellow, red, blue, we've got the S1, S2, and then our finisher files, the, the yellow, the red, and the blue um, to finish with. Just change the settings on that motor. Here uh, we run them at 250 RPM, three newton centimeters uh, torque. All the files run at the same speed and the same torque setting in this series. And gradually introduce our S1 file. This is mainly to do the coronal flare. Uh, the apical part of the file is just guiding uh, and that just ensures it stays centered in the canal. And then we can just brush on the outward stroke um, until we reach our working length. Uh, and that just helps produce the, the coronal flare. And you can lean it out towards the outside of the, the root canal just to give yourself a bit more flare if that's what you want. There's a bit of curve on that canal. So we we'll wanted to straighten that up a little bit. Uh, back in with the sodium hypochlorite. Uh, and then we'll patency, patency file again, just to make sure that's completely free from any blockages, uh, right from the top, right down to the bottom, um, and just just bounce that, just make sure that's really, really nice and patent. Uh, then the next file to go in, the white, the S2. This just does a, um, a, a little bit of preparation, just a little bit further down into the root canal, almost sort of the middle third, just, just down beyond that uh, that coronal third. And again, you can do a little bit of brushing here if you want to, just to increase that straight line access. Um, and again, exactly the same with the, with the last file. Once we reach that stopper, once that gets to the working length, um, it's, its work is done, it's completely shaped, and, uh, and, that's, uh, and that's all we need to do. If you just want to refine that coronal path again a little bit more, then you can. You'll notice the files keep, because of, of the heat treatment, they'll keep a certain degree of flexibility. Uh, so they sometimes come out a little bit bent. Uh, that's perfectly normal uh, for this type of alloy. Again, back in with the irrigation, and we'll make sure it's still patent, still really nicely patent. And then in with our first finisher file, this is the F1. Uh, this is a 2007. Um, a bit less brushing here with this one. It's just more of a pet, because this is just going to shape that final little apical portion. Um, and here you can see that goes to length really, really nicely. We don't need to leave it in there very long, uh, just a couple of introductions, uh, and then that's shaped. If that's how you want to finish, that's absolutely fine. That's a 2007. Um, we'll check its patent. Uh, but here we're just going to go to the next file. This is an F2. This is a, a 2508, just to give us a little bit more shape um, apically, uh, and exactly the same principle. Uh, we've gradually progressed, progressed the file. Uh, just gradual pecs until it reaches the full working length. And again, same principle, as soon as that's got to length, it's work's done. Uh, final um, irrigation, patency file, uh, and then just to show you, we've got matching um, GP cones with all, all the file systems here. Uh, we've gone on to the F2, so we've got our matching F2 GP cone. And we'll just show you, once we place this in to length, uh, you can see through, through the tooth that fits beautifully.